you to be on one of the most popular new shows of the last season? I love getting that question. Wow. That's, that's exciting. Uh, it's something that I think we'll really understand looking back on it. We work really hard making the show. It's it's a real adventure going and shooting the show and putting it together every week and um, and a joy. And we get to do a lot of fun stuff. Getting to Comic-Con to see the fan reaction is really cool because we don't get to interact with them much. But um, to be honest, it, it, it almost doesn't feel real that, that people are that into the show. Have you guys any, have any weird fan interactions since you've been here? Oh, since, I, since here. Yeah, oh, here. Comic Con. Well, we haven't really. We did the signing. We did the signing. Um, but it's it's so like, again, like I'm when they come up and they know the, the it's it's a place where these guys know the show. They follow it and they ask questions and and they they project what they want to happen. And that's just just to see that enthusiasm. It kind of like. It makes me go, okay, when I'm tired, when I go to work, somebody cares. You know, for those for those like tired moments, like it's going to mean a lot to like people who are watching and who are invested in the show. It's really special. We work really long hours, and then to come here, and I'm sitting next to Jaden, Jaden at the signing, and I see a girl's eyes light up. She says, oh my god, I'm looking at Happy, and she's right here. It's really cool, because we forget about it, and uh, I think that's what's really cool about Comic Con. Um, so, uh, so you guys are, are sort of nerd heroes in the show. Um, what what do you geek out on? Uh, personally, yeah. and not as characters, um, I geek out on baseball. Um, I geek out on old comedy, Laurel and Hardy, Marx Brothers, Evan and Costello. Um, but uh, mostly the New York Mets. Um... I geek out on, well lately it's been like Amy Schumer, Melissa McCarthy, like I will just go online and I will YouTube the hell out of like um, that and just um, yeah, like music, I love that. Definitely. What's in store for your characters in the next season? You know, uh, the producers and writers and, and us, we uh, we got a real sense of what the audience appreciated in the first season, and we heard them, and we're listening to them. And uh, Scorpion's a really unique show. It's a really unique blend of comedy, action, relationships, dramas, that we, we throw it all in there. And um, since it had a good response and people were watching, we're going to get to keep on doing what we were doing. We're, we're not pigeonholed as, oh, you're an action show, oh, you're a comedy show. We're Scorpion, and uh, we get to keep doing that, our own brand of, of procedural. So the, the show, you know, it's, it is based on a real story, at least loosely based. Loosely um, based, yeah. uh, What's it like to, to actually be able to, get, to talk to the guy that part of this story is about? Well, it's 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 inspired by a real guy. Yeah. There is a guy named Walter and Brian who's very smart, but by no means is the show his story. Right. Um, so it's it's been really interesting being exposed to this world of super geniuses, and I think he's way beyond Superman or something. Um, but uh, it's someone I would have never gotten to meet, you know. And he does things that you go, really? That's that's really happening, and. Um, Apparently, there's a lot going on in, in government and these private organizations that uh, are almost too crazy for television. Yeah, I mean, like I love when when they bring in like these cases and 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 problems every week, and there's some truth to that. And when I have conversations with Walter, and he'll sort of like explain what is the reality part or how they sort of incorporate like the logistics of how a problem can be solved, that's fascinating to me. Just because it's not something that I would, again, it's that where, where I go, whoa, 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 that's not even possible, but it is. And so, and, and to have that, him sort of confirm that, oh, it is, it's, it's very interesting. So, um, what, what you guys are working on hours, you're doing a lot of crazy stuff like Scorpion, but what's the most fun part about being on the show? As an actor, there's I feel like there's not one genre we don't get to touch. You know, I'll spend four hours in the morning doing a very comedic scene, come back from lunch, have to run away from a burning car, and then have a love scene with Jaden. 
So it's uh, there. It, it, it's very challenging as an actor and super fun to never get lost in one thing. Um, I've been on sitcoms, which I love doing, but you're constantly doing a sitcom. Um, and there's times that I feel like I'm doing slapstick comedy, and there's times that I feel like I'm doing a beautifully written love story. So uh, it's fun. I think the inability to kind of shoot on the show into one genre, in some respects, has actually been its salvation. Both as a, as a commercial yeah. property, but also for a company of that Absolutely, 100%. I think, um, I think the people that discover the show uh, stick with it because you can't really get this type of procedural anywhere else. Um, and uh, hopefully there's a whole world of people who haven't discovered it yet. And the fact that we're not getting bored hopefully means that's what you're seeing on screen. That we get a new script like, oh my god, this is what I get to do and this and this and this. And it's not like, oh, here we go again. Another person died. I'm going to solve the crime, yada, yada, yada. Um, and uh, I think if we ever were to get to that point, that would be our downfall. But the uniqueness, uh, look, you've got to be unique to be on TV now. The bar is raised. Um, people, if, if they don't want to watch it, nothing will stop them, you know? And there's a lot of options for them. So, uh, yeah, it, our uniqueness is by all means our salvation. What are your favorite TV shows right now? Um, I watched Orphan Black during the break. Um, uh, Black Mirror blew me away. Oh, God, it's an incredible show. Um, I'm addicted to cops and uh, prison reality shows. I have no good reason why, <laughs> but I can't stop watching reality shows taking place in prisons. Don't know why. Like Scared Straight? No, Scared Straight. That's like Maury Povich type thing. <laughs> no, like Locked Up, San Quentin. What's that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I wish it wasn't, and I probably shouldn't admit it to the press, but that's that's that. But I like Black Mirror, so that's that's high art, right? I think television is brave. I mean, the show that you mentioned yeah. brave. Black Mirror is possibly one of the most brave pieces of television written in the last 20 years. Why, why do you think television is so brave? Uh, my guess, and I'm by no means uh, the authority, but I think because of all these different options uh, available to us, uh, the, the bar is raised. There's, you know, you can change the channel very easily. When there were four, four choices, you had a 25% chance of being watched. Um, and uh, I think, you know, kudos to the entertainment industry for responding with quality uh, instead of just shock value. Um, and it does apply to network television because uh, CBS is aware that their viewers can just as easily turn on new media, can just as easily watch something on Amazon or Netflix and uh, the great filmmakers, actors and producers are involved. So, um, and also it's, it's, it's something that's never happened before is you get the David Finchers and all these other great creators having years and years and years to uh, stick with a project rather than you have a 90 minute movie to make just now. I mean, the Judd Apatow gets to sit with a project for years. How fun is that, you know? And uh, that affects things like Scorpion. Because we know that people could be watching HBO or Netflix, we have to bring it just as much as them. We were told to wrap up. Yeah. All right, cool, Thank you guys. great. Thank you guys, have a good Comic-Con.